Maria. Yes, Father. There's a reason we are here on this mountain. And that is to seek the face of God. I do not need to tell you about his powers because you have already experienced it. While we're here, I want you to make a resolution of faith that you would never leave this place until God has revealed to you the events of last few months. Okay? Yes, sir. <laughs> You have the guts to talk to my face because you don't know who I am. I am Bozazi, the Basilica Queen of the Deep. I have an ambition to achieve with your son. The process has already started, so you cannot ruin it. Sleep, old woman. Sleep. You shall remain here until my ambition is accomplished. The ambition. My heart, my love, my life. You shouldn't be seen at the gate. I guess he was not told that nobody goes against my orders. What is wrong with human? So strong head. So stupid and foolish. I told this fool not to let anyone in here. Yet, he let Otto's mother. Otto's mother? My queen, she saw you? Why do you look so shocked? Which human? Is what presenting to Arthur's mother as a lover. Tell me. Anyway, that's not why I called you. Follow me. Queen Nibosa Zimbo. This is Queen. Be my first to I go make you richer and richer. Sakaba Queen. Feed the feed the me. I go make you rich. This is Queen. It's your combute. Oh, yeah, meet me. You know how much I loved him. You know your friend is my best among all of you. I decided to involve you because I don't wish to harm him. Queen Bozazi never hurts anyone that she loves, especially the one that feeds her the way she likes it. I might be left with no option if you fail to talk sense into him. I am at the verge of getting things done. Getting a girl for us. For Arthur and I. But he has sworn never to touch her even when I get her. I have worked so hard for this. I put out my two precious daughters out there just to get this done. They are the risk of getting harmed. 
after all this, I will not have other mistakes up for me. I can cast the love I have for him and drain life out of him. The spell will loosen a bit on my asset. Drink, my queen. Talk to Arthur. Yes, my queen. Look at them, bunch of sleeping sacks, bunch of fools. Now, why don't you get up and make noise again? What do they call it again? Pray, 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 yeah. <laughs> Weak fools. What do we do with them? with numerous worshippers and we have worshipped in your porous basilica and we found out that you're not a fetch oh, I beg your pardon what do you mean that you have worshipped in my basilica <laughs> our mother is the queen of basilica and you all must submit to her supreme age wait are you girls possessed? We are the very definition of possession. Do you have a problem with that? I said it. I, I, I told you girls, didn't I? That you did. But they all came here. Well, for your information, ladies, as long as you are here, we shall have our share of your bodies and your basilica shall constantly receive our worship. God forbid! Listen! Our bodies are the temple of the Holy Spirit and not for the devil. And now listen to me. I do not care who you are and what you are possessed with, but I will resist you by the power and the blood of Jesus. Amen! Amen. <laughs> Let's wait and see. <laughs> I told you this is the, the devil! This is so much! We have to do something! You must throw them away right now! This is what we must do! I don't think it's a good idea. Cause Maria won't like it. It will be very risky to stay under the same roof with this evil girl. Jesus. We must do something. Jesus. Jesus. Holy Mary. Holy Mary. Jesus.
I told you she is not our type. Now see what you have gotten yourself into. I do not care what happens to me. I've already caused a lot of girls' pains. What difference does it make if you do it one more time? Let the queen have Maria. I'd rather die than to let that happen. Okay, man. Let's look at it this way. You told me that you love this girl. Now capitalize on that and make love to her. Why are you sounding like you don't know what making love to a girl implies? I will not do that to Maria. And yes, because I love her. Then what do you intend to do? Queen Bosasi will kill you and still have Maria. She gets whatever she wants and nobody, no one dares to stop her. I'm confused. I don't know what to do. But I know that it's, there, is, there is a way out. Drake, are you going to help me out of this? What do you want me to do? I need to protect Maria from her. Because she's ready to kill her in order to have her way. Or kill you. Guy, use your head. We have come a long way. So we cannot stop at this point. I know you need help as much as I do. Are you going to do what I'm going to ask you to do now? What? Countless number of times, oh Lord, people have come face to face with the vanity of their bad decisions. Decisions that have no place in your plans, oh Lord. Whenever your people abandon your way, God, you always allow the Satan to bring them low and bring them to shame. That is exactly what has happened to your daughter. For her to have agreed to come here to seek your face, oh God, means you're still interested in our case. Show yourself towards, oh Lord. Show yourself towards, oh Lord. Come and show us the way forward, oh King of Kings. Show us the way forward, O oh King of Kings and Lord of Lords. Show us the way forward, King of Kings. Show us the way forward. Come and show us the way forward. Show us the way forward. Amen. <laughs> Heavenly Father, I come to you because you are my King, you are my Lord, you are my Father, you are the faithful one. I call you faithful one because you remain faithful even when we choose to be unfaithful to you. I have come to you today to make a resolution of faith, not to leave your presence until you answer me. I will not leave your presence until you reveal to me the events of these past few months. Father, I trust you. I have disappointed you, but you never disappoint. You are the unchangeable changer. Even when everyone and everything changes, you remain the same. I will not leave your presence until you answer me. I will not leave your presence until you answer me. Ibu Alpha na Omega mo Onye mbuno ni pasu Maliti no wugu Ya kamchi na si
<laughs> At all, my mother loves you than the rest. For she said, you have what others don't have. Because of what you represent, and because of the impact you have on my mother, the basilica queen of the deep, she has chosen you to be the one. <laughs> The one to do what, my princess? <laughs> the day is coming in the future. And that day is almost near. The day my mother shall allow you asses into her. <laughs> it is a ritual that will take place in a lonely night. A night of horror. <laughs> the night where you should plant the seed in her and she shall be a child the lord of basilicas and he shall rule the world <laughs> You just interrupted a very important process and you're asking me questions. Who let you in? Your gate man, of course. Onyento. Onyento! Ato! Onyento! Onyento! Ato! Onyento! What's the meaning of what I just saw inside? What is the meaning of what I just saw inside? Onyento! Eh? House. Onyento! Who let this lady into this compound? No, where were you when this woman crossed this gate and came into the house? Why are you harassing him? Leave him alone. He knows me. Onyeto knows me. So why would he let me into the house? Onyeto, who let her in? Sir, uh, I, uh, you know, she... No, no, go to... I, I didn't, I didn't know, Onyeto, sir, I... you wanted to. I wanted to. I wanted to. I wanted to. I wanted to. You see what you've cost? You see what you've cost? You see what you've cost? Now take your two left legs out of this compound. No! Maria! No! Maria! No! Maria! No! No! Maria! No! Maria! No! Maria! No! Maria! No! Maria! No! 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 Calm down! Calm down! It can't be! It can't be! It, uh, what is it? No, no! Father! What? I saw something terrible! Okay, okay, come, 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 let's be talking. Come, come. What the? What the? You think I saw? We didn't know we had such powers. I told you. You don't know what you have. We can't wait to use this our newfound powers on her. Yes, mother. When is she coming? I have no idea, my angel. She's been totally inaccessible. But be patient. She will come back. This is her home. How are my angels doing? Very well, mother. Very, very well. Getting on well? See for yourself. <laughs> Together, we shall take over the world. Together, we shall rule the human race. We love you, Queen Bozazi. Holy Mother of the Deep. You are the greatest and you will forever remain green in our hearts.
Your friends, they took her with, with them. Where? Um, we, we don't know, they didn't tell us. In fact, they treated us like enemies. Stop right there! I command you in the name of Jesus to open your mouth and speak. Speak nothing but the truth. Begin to speak. What are you doing here? Who sent you? Speak! We are Succubus princesses that invade basilicas of women. Sent by our mother, the Succubus queen of the deep, to sap you of your spiritual strength. So she can feed on you through her woman lover boy of all times. Arthur, the boss man of Asaba. Arthur, the boss man of Asaba. I command you in the name of Jesus, speak everything in your mouth. State your mission in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and speak. Jesus, begin to speak. 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 Your mouth and speak. The strength of your mother is in our hands. So you have to give us what we want. So she can be strong again. <laughs> and what we want is to make love to you. That is, to evade your basilica and sap you off your spiritual strength and energy. <laughs> I am the Cyclops Queen, the ancient basilica with the strongest sex appeal in the court. What are you doing here? What is your mission? What are you doing in my house? My sex partner indicated interest in you, and I wish to make it easy for him. Ultimately, for us. Who is your partner? My angels already told you, Arthur. Does that ring a bell? Arthur, your partner. the one. It's Atos' friend. He's looking for Maria. It's my wife. If she knows where you can find her, she will tell you. Um, madam, where is she? My name is Drake, Atos' friend. He asked to see Maria. If Atos asked to see Maria, why are you here instead? 
he should tell you where, where she lives. Yes, he did. I actually sent someone there. But they say she wasn't home. You sent someone? Um, yes. It's complicated, madam. But whatever you can do to help me, please do. Where is she? My dear, I'm sorry. If she's not home, I don't know where she is. It's okay. Honey, I don't feel good about this. Why? Should have told him the truth. I, I had to follow my instincts. Look at the devils she brought into her house. And this one is searching for her all over the place. Honey, he's Arthur's friend. And you know lately how she's now attached to Arthur. Whatever. Please, let them stop themselves out. Honey, let's go inside. difficult to understand both of you. You actually abandoned the house because of them. Maria. We left because discretion is the best part of valor. What were we supposed to do? I told you those girls were abnormal, but you didn't believe me. Abnormal may not even be the word. Those girls were the true definition of evil. She saw it. What actually happened? Something tells me that those girls will try and fortify and come against us. I, and I suggest we crush them. They are just church goers. Without spiritual powers and energy, they cannot withstand our powers. Listen sis. Crushing them is not our mandate. We are here for the one who stands in the way of our Queen Mother. Crushing those girls will raise eyebrows, end our mission, and then mother will call us failures. Yes? How may we help you? The question is, who are you? And what are you doing in this house? What do you want? You don't want to talk? Do you want me to slap the demons out of you both? Jane, calm down. It's okay. Listen, I'm not afraid of those eyes. You look at me, I look right back at you. What is in me is bigger than what is in both of you. Really? But yet you ran out of the house. You're just a pathetic human. Eh, see. We're not here to fight with you. We only came to ask you some questions. What was behind your actions earlier today? And you said something about your mother. Who is your mother? And why do you refer to human beings as basilicas? You can't ask us such questions. <laughs> no way, sis. She asked a very good question. Let me answer her. Miss, we wanted to make love to you and your friends. And making love to you and your friends is what we refer to as worshipping in your basilicas. Is that blunt or not? When did you become so low? These girls are pure devils! And even worse. And I promise you, as long as we stay under the same roof, we shall succeed in getting what we want from each one of you. One after the other. One after the other. Starting from the weakest to the one who thinks she's the strongest. God forbid! God forbid! The mission of our Supreme Queen must be accomplished.
Ichi. I knew something was wrong when I tried to call them back and they behaved like they didn't know me. Why the interruption? Oh, you evil spirit! I rebuke you in the name of Jesus! Man. I am enjoying my life like never before. I rebuke whatever they have deposited inside of you in the name of Jesus! But you cannot stand our anger. I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. Listen to me. Whatever it is that you think that you are, the power in the blood of Jesus is greater than you. Yes. And let me warn you. Make another attempt at his children and you shall meet your end. <laughs> <laughs> For how long shall we take this? Don't worry. I know what to do. I'll do it my way. <laughs> <laughs> continue like this. Something has to be done. Exactly. Those girls are devils. Either they deal with us or we deal with them. So what do we do? Send them away immediately. Yes. No. Maria will not like that. Maria? Maria is not even here. She doesn't even know what we are going through right now. Exactly my point. Even if she comes back and we explain to her, she still will not understand. What if we follow them spiritually? Since it is obvious that we are not fighting against flesh, but principalities. Who do we have in our team? Those weak ones? Can't you see how they were hypnotized by those devils? Exactly. Who knows who the next target is? Hey! If you make any attempt again, the fire of the Holy Ghost will consume you. Shut up your mouth. Do you know how weak and one as you are? You will open this hole you call mouth. You're so empty inside of you. And I pity you. Let me even shock you the more. You see that woman inside? Your cousin's mother. We made her the way she is. Because she tried to stand in our ways. This is just a tip of the iceberg to those that stand in our way. Good luck with your little meetings anyway. So, we had to leave the house. There was no point risking our lives anymore. I was very shocked when I heard it. They must have really blinded me with despair. Yes, you were. I thank God for Father Pius that came to your rescue. I wonder what would have become of you if he did not. And also, you have to thank the charismatic members. They never ceased to pray for you. They were the ones that reported to Father Pius. You mean you don't know any of his friends? No. Uh, what did the person say his name is? Drake. Yes, my husband confirmed he is. Drake. Yes. Oh, I don't know him. What, what did he say he wanted? Thank God for Father Pius. We thank God indeed. Hey. Thank God. What did he do? Actually, I don't know. But he said, Arthur sent him to you. But I choose not to tell him anything about you. Thank you very much. You did well by not saying anything. Thank you. I've told you to stop thanking me. The miracle God used you to bring my family. I've not stopped thanking you. Okay. Thank you very much. Let me quickly join them in the car. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Never, never you give up. Oh, mm -hmm. Never, never you give up. Oh. No.
waiting con de du mari mari oh no no father i just couldn't believe it succubus in my house you know i've heard about them and i actually read about them as well but i didn't believe they actually do exist uh well the world we live in is a very deep and mysterious one. All kinds of beings exist here. And the girls they brought home out of pity. Father, is it a crime to help people in this world of ours? I just don't understand. Uh, well, my dear, that is why the work of charity is the greatest gift anyone can offer. And everything Maria went through, because she was trying to obey the word of God? Well, uh... The Bible says good people suffer many troubles and tribulations. But in the end, the Lord God sees them through them all. Everything that happens in this life happens for a reason, which is why in all things we must give thanks to God. What reason could there be in this one? I'm yet to understand. Um, Yes. Sorry to interrupt, Father, but someone just drove into the church premises. Uh -huh. So, what is wrong with someone driving into the church premises? He said he came to see you and Maria. He sounded urgent and it seems like he knows she's here already. He's the one, Father. Uh, have a good day, Father. Who are you, sir? And uh, how may I help you? My name is Drake. Otto sent me to speak with Maria. It is very urgent and critical. What are we even talking about here? What exactly are we talking about that I should go and save Arthur? Me? For what? From the succubus, of course. You heard all that his friend said. <laughs> hey! I don't see how on earth that is my problem. He knew fully well who that girl is before getting involved with her. So he should carry his cross, not me. Has it occurred to you that that man truly loves you? Yes, he does. If you listen to Drake properly, you will understand that he's being punished because he decided not to work against you. Please, you should go. You told me that they needed accommodation so that they can process their ATM or whatever they told you. How long does it take to do that in Nigeria? Listen, there is something evil about those people. There is something I don't understand about them. Please go in there and ask them to leave your house immediately. Arthur knew who those girls were. He didn't tell me. He left me to live under the same roof with those girls. Now you're telling me to go and risk my life for him. <laughs> I don't even know why I'm sitting down here discussing this. Maria! Don't Maria, call my way! Maria! Betrayal. Betrayal. How could you? How could you do this to me after all that I gave you? How? I made you. I made both of you. You lack nothing as human. What do I ask in return? Miserable females. Give me their sexuality and reproductive rights. And what do I get in return? Betrayal. Why? My queen. My queen, why do you want to tear everything apart just because of one girl? You've always done that. I've lost count of the girls that I've laid without protection. And all those girls are destroyed, and you know it. And why did you stop? I am like the bottomless pit. I need humans to be thrown into me. Because I can never be full. My queen. 
Let us tell ourselves the truth. You brought this upon yourself. Hmm. I brought what upon myself, baby boy. The second bus has nothing to lose. Tonight, you shall sow your seed in me. And you know what that means. And you, backstabbing and great, you shall watch me lay your friend. And you know the process. It will drain life out of you. I shall watch. My offspring. My offspring shall rule the world. I shall multiply. I shall rule the world. I, Buzazi, the second bus queen. I shall rule the world. You just have to do it, Maria. Father, I'm sorry I can't. My mother almost died. Those girls almost killed my mother. I can't. Arthur should bear his cross. Maria, everything that happens, happens for a reason. He has asked for your help. So what can you do? You have no reason, no right whatsoever to say no. I can say no, father. I have the right to say no. Now listen, Maria. What you have in you is not yours. It is God-given, and as such, must be used to work for him. God never wanted to lose that young man's soul, which was why your paths crossed. Now you listen. We save souls, Maria. That is what we do. Drake told us that whoever impregnates that devil surrenders his soul to her. Maria, Maria, do not attract God's wrath upon yourself for refusing to save this one soul for him. Just this one soul. doing this to yourselves. Why? Look, my mother needs you now to accomplish her mission. I don't, why are you destroying what you've already started? Why? Where is your sister? She left the premises. What? Why? Why did you allow her go? At this crucial time? The rituals cannot take place without the three of us. We need to be complete! Are you and what are you doing here? I'll just go get you. By the time I finish with two of you, you will not know what hits you. Send down your power, we praise you, Lord.
is that nice? What have you done? Speak! Speak before I end you. My queen, you have locked me up here all day. How do I know what is happening? I left you alive and you come to my house to disturb me. What do you want? Even if you own this house, you do not own this soul. Yes. It belongs to God, the maker of the heavens and the earth. And whether you like it or not, your hold on him shall be let loose today in the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 I own him. I make him. I do with him whatever I want to. And tonight, he shall deposit his seed in me. That will only mark the beginning. Because through him, I shall multiply. My offspring shall rule the world. You are no son, you yes. demon. Yes. You yes, cannot yes. even make a strand of hair. Yes. Yes. Leave here while in you the have the time. Oh no, you leave now that you have the chance. Hey! Hey! Call upon the power of the Holy Ghost upon you in the name of Jesus. They go. Father, huh? mm -mm. this is a plot. It's a trick. I still sense her spirit. She's still hovering around this building. She's still around. She's still around. In the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 Show yourself! Break in the show name of Jesus! In the name in of Jesus! Show yourself! You are hiding! I command you in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth! Come out! In the name of Jesus! Come out! In the name of Jesus! You're right here now! In the name of Jesus! Come out! 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 I command you. Jesus. You demon. Upon the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I come against you. For you do not belong here. I cast you. I bind you. I call upon the Father of the Holy Ghost to begin to consume you right here. Shut up. Who will start calling you crazy? Who are you talking to? You are making mockery of yourself. Go home, little reverend. Go home. You demon. The Bible says at the mention of his name, every knee shall bow. Be it in heaven or earth, beneath the earth and even the waters. Upon that name, I ask you to bow in the mighty name of I Jesus. I am the first queen. The ascent basilica of the deep. 
shall turn the hearts of men and women to me. I shall use them as my instrument. I bind you in the name of Jesus. You demon. You can deceive all men, but you can never deceive God. Because he is a maker of heaven and earth. I destroy you. I bind you. I bind you. I call upon the Father Holy Ghost to begin to consume you in the name of Jesus. Fire. 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 You destroyed in Jesus' name. Fire. Fire. Fire of the Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost fire. In Jesus' name, pray. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord, someone. Hallelujah. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, 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 thank I'm so sorry for what I put you through. No, no. Are you alright? I am alright. Everything is fine. It's all over. Look, it's all over. Stand up, stand up. Both of you have a lot of catching up. Hallelujah. At all. Both of you have a lot of catching up too. Your mother is in a great danger in this house. What do you mean? Look, we have to save your mother now. After that, you and Maria can settle your differences. Uh, well, there's no power greater than the Lord's. I feel so terrible for all I did to people. Um, Arthur, the Lord has won the battle completely. So, it is high time you give your life over to him completely too. But first, you must have to confess your sins. <sighs> confess my sins? How on earth did you get yourself involved in all of this? What happened? It's a long story. A story I never believed I would tell one day. As an only child of my parents, we lived in abject poverty. But I swore to help my parents. I did all kinds of menial jobs. After so many years of struggle, I landed on what I could call a better job. I became a chauffeur to the then chairman of Solix Oil and Gas. After some time, I got attached to the second daughter and we, we started dating. You know your dad. You know the way he behaves. He will not take it lightly if he finds out. Are we going to go through this again? My father has no rights over whom I say. Okay. I'm not a child. I know, but I'm just, I'm, just, I'm just a common driver. Your father's driver. 
Why do I sense that you feel nothing for me? No, 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 Imelda, don't, don't talk like that. See, amongst all your siblings, you're the nicest. And I like you a lot. But it's, it's just that... That's enough. You said all that matters. Oh, would you like this nice lady to get angry? that you have such a problem have you you've not even told my husband i i i i told him and he already gave me fifty thousand, which i sent to them but the problem is that my mother's condition deteriorated and the doctor advised that we should take her to a specialist hospital then do it your mother's life is more important to us in this family I know, I know. But the thing is, I don't have any other money. I don't have any other money to take her to a specialist hospital. And I don't want to discuss it with Chief. He might misunderstand me. What I can understand is that you don't know how my husband values your services. I'll talk to him myself. I'm sure he will bring a team of doctors he can send to bring your mother down here to us. Listen, you are a family driver and your problem is ours. Okay? Thank you. Arthur, what happened? You didn't need the food. I mean, the food you served cannot be mine. I'm just a driver here. You can't get me to eat like a king. And that's what you are. You are my king. I made that food for you because I wanted to impress you. To show you that I'm more bread. Listen, you don't have to do all that to impress me. I know you. You're a nice person. I'm just praying to God to give me enough courage so I can talk to you dad and let him know how much I love you. Can you come and eat now? Because I want to talk to you as you do. No. I'll come with you. But first of all, say what you have to say. Not today. My father asked me a question that got me thinking. He asked what I actually want in a man. And at that moment, the only one I saw was you. I described to him all the qualities that you possess. Are you trying to flatter me? Come on. I know what you're thinking. Because you're a driver, you don't deserve someone like me. But don't bother yourself about that. She loved me. I don't love you. What? I adore you. Oh my God, you got me. You got me there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Silas, listen, I know why you're doing this. I know why. Yes, because you know that my boss will be mad at me if he finds out that I went into fighting because of money. No, I'll leave it to your conscience. No problem. Idiot. The useless silence has provoked you. Would you be willing to respond to me? I, I don't get it. Were you listening to my call? Let's forget about Silas. Let's talk about her. You don't have any feelings for her, do you? Excuse me? Why don't you tell her so that she will stop pestering you? She's such a bug. I wonder how you stand her. Okay. 
I, I don't I, I don't understand what you're talking about. Emelda, your boss's second daughter. Who are you? Hello, sir. Where are you, Arthur? Must you keep me waiting? No, no, sir. I'm sorry, sir. I, I, I'll be there, sir. I'll be there shortly. Right away, sir. Thank you, sir. You? My handsome young man is sitting, waiting as a driver. He doesn't even know what she is doing in there. I, I, I don't understand what you mean. I don't get it. We didn't get to do a proper introduction the other day. No one it seemed like you you know me even more than I know myself. Listen, I'm certain I've never met you anywhere in my life before. How come you know me so well? That is certain. But what I said about you and Imelda is right. You don't love her, do you? She's not your type. Tell her that I said so. that I don't know who she is she she came to this place and uh, she stood here she was saying uh, she was saying you stopped speak on I want to know what she said did I ever hear what she said she didn't say anything she she you know she she just stood here I don't know probably she was admiring the car so she didn't say anything actually she didn't say anything. So tell me, tell me about your friend you went to visit. I to forget about Mercy. Who was that woman? We'll, we'll talk about it later.
Oish. Oish. Co tak słuchaj? Hey! You don't need to search for me. I'm right here. What, what do you want? Who are you? What are you up to? I am up to nothing. I'm just taking a walk. I like the vicinity. Maybe because you're living around. Are you stalking me? Would that be bad? Have you told her? What do you want? Who are you? Well, for now, let's leave it at that. I want you. No. I need you to come work for me. Work for you? I love my job. As a chauffeur? Come on! You're too handsome for that. Too, too handsome to be doing that. See. If I want, I can force you to live here. But I like my workers coming voluntarily. Wait. What has that got to do with my relationship with Imelda? Relationship? You call that a relationship? Come on. Say, I want you to break every bond you have with this house and come with me. Please, stay away from me. Please, before you put me into trouble, stay away from me. Else I will involve the police and I will arrest you. Please. Arthur. I don't easily give up. daughter slept in your room and this morning you found her dead? Chief, I'm, I'm telling you the truth. I, I, I didn't do anything to her. What was she doing in your room in the first place? What? Hata, could this be how you are going to pay me back for all I have done for you? Does it mean you have been taking advantage of my daughter right under my nose in my house? Does it? Sir. You killed my daughter. Uh, honey, what are you waiting for? Take this one back to the police! Chief, I, I love your daughter. I love her, my mother. I love her so much. I didn't have the courage to tell her because I was scared. It is either you die hanging on the rope or you're going to spend the remaining days of a miserable life in prison. Really? That is how it is going to be. You! Psycho! Good morning, Chief Roland. Madam Greetings. Who are you, woman?
your daughter died in her sleep right on her bed. Isn't that what happened? <laughs> yes, yes, yes. That's what happened. My daughter died in her sleep right on her bed. How did you know? What's the meaning of this? Chief, what are you saying? Exactly what I've been saying. A murder died in her sleep right on her bed. That is what happened. <laughs> what have you done to my husband? Nothing. He just realized that Arthur is innocent. Your daughter died in her sleep. Yes. Right on her bed. Isn't it? Yes. Arthur is innocent. <laughs> Mom, what's going on here? So, we're good here, right? Yes. Yes. Arthur is innocent. Yes. Yes, very innocent. He's innocent. So, he's free to leave. Yes, yes. yes. He's free. He's free. Good. Sorry for your loss, Chief and Mrs. Ronald. Arthur, shall we? I saw what you did. You're weird. You're a woman of superior powers. You just you just saved me from from other charges. Please, how can I ever pay you back? My name is Queen Bozazi. I am the Basilica Queen of the Deep. I brought you into my world because I want you to be part of my new experiment. It is called Basilica Invention and Basilica Deposit. I, I don't understand what you mean. It is the coded language of the deep. More and more women are becoming loose by the day because of love for money. I shall use you to bring them down. See, I... I really don't understand what you want from me. But there are so many men out there that you could use for this your experiment. Why rope me in for murder? Arthur... Behind every fortune, there's a crime. Men who are men are concerned with money. Accept to work for me. Be my apostle in these invading basilicas of perilous women, and your fortune shall know no bound. Are you? Okay, are you promising that you will make me wealthy? Sit. Huh? Sit. Work for me. Ava. Become my apostle. And in four months, even your chief Roland will not see your back. I will make you richer, wealthier than anyone you've ever known. When the boss has you, they say, when 
Be my boss to I go make you rich and rich. She made me rich, as she promised. With her metaphysical power, she was able to assist me. Win contracts worth millions of naira. The rest you know. Mm. I introduced Drake to her when he came to me for assistance. And she took him in. But I remained her best. What happened to Emelda? What really happened to her? She killed Emelda. What? She told me that she's going to do anything possible to get me. Including manipulating Emelda's death. What a wicked being. What was the fate of the other girls? I feel so terrible each time I I recall what she made me do. She used me to destroy more than 3,000 girls. 3,000 girls? Of which they will never reproduce whenever they get married. I feel so empty. I, I didn't have a life of my own. She drained me psychologically and emotionally. Something is connecting in my head. Do you by any chance know any Jane? Jane? I can't remember because there were so many of them. While you did all of these things you did, were you not scared? Were you not scared one bit that you were going to contract a deadly disease? <laughs> disease? <laughs> yes, I was scared. But I never contracted any. Just ask me how it happened, but I never contracted it. You know, out of fear, sometimes I go to the hospital and I have a thorough checkup on myself, and the result will come out and I'm safe. I thought you were genuine. I never knew you were responsible for my condition. Honestly, I, I regret all that I did to girls. I wasn't happy doing it, but at that time I didn't have a choice. Trust me, as we speak, there are so many other apostles of fallen angels like Buzazi who are doing the same harm to greedy girls who follow men once they see money. Don't see it as if I'm not bothered about what happens to those ladies. But I want to dwell on the one that concerns me directly. What happens now? Brother Mike, if you ask me, I think we should forget the past and focus on the future. Let's put all our hope in Christ who is the author and finisher of our faith. Ah, sincerely, Sister Maria, I understand all that. I have pondered extensively over everything that has happened. Somehow I feel dumbfounded. But I... I still want our friend here to tell us. What is the fate of our women? Truthfully, my disassociation and deliverance from her is the deliverance of all the women involved. 
Now that she is destroyed and I am free, I can assure you that all the ladies, they are free. Well, I scheduled this meeting to hold at this time of the day without pressures from other parishioners that queue up to see the priest. I am your spiritual guardian, Maria, and I believe you will listen to me. Father, it's, it's really complicated. You won't understand. Well, uh, I'm trying to figure out what is complicated about it. For him to have finally proposed to you means that he's indeed repented. Someone who was involved with the devil at that level? Someone who was used as a destructive agent to bring down almost 3,000 women? Father, I, I don't think I can trust that kind of person. Listen, Maria, I know your fears. But you and I know Arthur is free. And the Bible says whoever the Son of God sets free is free indeed. However, if you tell me you do not love this young man, it will be a different ball game entirely. And believe me, I will understand. I think I do love him too. So what are we talking about? Huh? All right. Uh, Apart from the things he was involved with, have you taken your time to find out if he's a good man, one who would make a good husband? From the little I know of him, I think he's a good man. He's a good man. Then that settles it. Huh? The Bible says old things shall pass away and every other thing shall become new. Listen, Maria. That young man is special. It is not everyone that goes through what he went through and uh, comes out alive. The fact that he went through all of that ordeal and came out alive goes a long way to show that he's indeed special. Huh? And if you ask me, I'll tell you he's the man for you. Father, I'm confused. It will really take the exceeding grace of God to make me see him as a new man. I don't know. Good. Um, I want you to go home and think about it. Do not be in a hurry about anything. Hmm? Most importantly, take it to God in prayers and ask for his guidance. He will surely show you a way out. Amen.
I count myself lucky to have got to marry to an angel like you. I'll love you for the rest of my life. In you, I see the full manifestation of the miracle of repentance. My husband that means the world to me. I will love you for the rest of my life. I love you. I love you too, baby. <laughs> Praise the Lord! Hallelujah! <laughs> Apostle. 